we are going to circle Mercury for the first time. Mercury is at the very edge of our solar system. It is a small planet that no one lives on, wrapped in a web of mystery and intrigue. From the outside, this world doesn't seem to be important at all. But new NASA investigations have shown some shocking things about Mercury that no one saw coming. Some of the most amazing findings, like data from the James Webb Telescope, have caused debate in the scientific community. Many of them imply that there may be alien species hiding on Earth. In the midst of all the crazy news and conspiracy theories, scientists are coming up with a new plan. Take off Mercury's strange masks and find out all of its dark secrets for good. This is the grand plan. What mind-blowing facts have scientists learned about Mercury? What groundbreaking ideas do scientists have for this strange neighbor in the galaxy? Check out this study to learn about what NASA was hiding on Mercury all along, which was finally found by the Webb Telescope. The planets in our solar system don't just swing around like a merry-go-round in space. The eight planets in this mysterious ring system each have their own interesting traits. Planets like Jupiter and Mars may have gotten all the attention because of how important they are, but Mercury is also an interesting planet that gets lost in the crowd. When you put planets in order of how close they are to the Sun, Mercury is at the summit. Earth is 150 million kilometers away from the Sun, but Mercury is only 58 million kilometers away. Mercury is also very small compared to Earth. Its width is only 3,000 miles. Because it has a very small orbital radius around the Sun, Mercury is the planet that goes around the Sun the fastest. At 47 kilometers per second, Mercury makes one full spin in only 59 days, which means that a year on Mercury is only 88 days or three months on Earth. Some of the most interesting things about Mercury are how small it is and how fast it moves. From far away on the cosmic map, it even looks like a world where people could live. Scientists have always been interested in this small planet, but it hasn't gotten as much attention as most of its friends in the galaxy. Mercury was first seen in writing in 265 BC. In 1639, Genli was one of the first scientists to study the planet during those early years. However, scientists only had bits and pieces of data because they did all of their study with old telescopes and poor scientific equipment. Thanks to the work of NASA, real information about Mercury didn't come out until the 1960s. The first real pictures of Mercury were shown to the world by NASA a few years ago. These huge pictures of Mercury made it look like a beautiful and complicated cosmic being, but they didn't come cheap. Scientists planned and worked hard for years to study Mercury, but all they could do was take a quick look at it. The truth is that because Mercury is so close to the Sun, scientists can't spy on it like they can on other worlds. When optical tools like telescopes look at Mercury for too long, the Sun's harsh rays and bright light can hurt them. Scientists can only look at the tiny planet for a short time at a time so that their tools don't get broken. The planet is so close to the Sun that not even the James Webb Telescope can look at it. It is strange that this small, Close planet is harder to study than planets farther away, even though they are warmer and pull more heavily on Earth from the Sun. It's more of a suicide mission than a star mission to send a probe to Mercury. The probe has to change to fit the temperature, atmosphere, and gravity pull of the space station. If it doesn't, it will break down. You would be shocked to learn that Mercury speeds 30 meters per second around the Sun at this breakneck speed. It orbits the Sun faster than any other planet in our solar system. Just so you know, this makes it hard for satellites to study the planet or land on its surface. Only two space projects have been able to reach Mercury so far. Mariner 10, which took off on November 3, 1973, and Messenger, which took off on August 3, 2004. These are the main ships that will go to Mercury. NASA planned both of these trips, and they are the main sources of almost all the information we have today about Mercury. For starters, the Mariner 10 probe did three flybys of Mercury. Each one showed the cracked, crater-filled surface and the magnetic field that surrounds it. For those of you who are interested, this ship had a magnetometer, two telescopes, spectrometers, an ultraviolet spectrometer, and a plasma analyzer. NASA planned for Mariner 10's trip to Mercury to give them as much information as possible. As luck would have it, the probe slowly made its way to the small, fast planet with the help of Venus's gravity. When Mariner 10 got close to Mercury, scientists were shocked to see that its surface was so jumbled. 
There were many craters and lines on it, just like the moon. It was amazing to see what Mercury looked like on Mariner because it was so different from what scientists thought it would be. The spacecraft found a rough surface on the planet, as well as a weak magnetic field and a core that was much bigger than normal. Over 2,700 pictures were taken of Mercury by the Mariner. These pictures gave scientists a unique look at the planet's scenery. When the Mariner flew by for the second time on September 21, 1974, it took pictures of the planet's southern polar area. The last time Mariner 10 flew by Earth was in March 1975. After that, it stopped sending messages to Earth. The spacecraft had run out of gas so it couldn't make any more orbits. According to later studies, after 30 years, NASA's messenger went to the not-so-distant planet and carried on Mariner 10's great work. In contrast to its predecessor, Messenger did more than just fly by Earth. It also managed to go around it. Because of this, scientists were able to learn more interesting things about the world with the interesting pictures of Mercury in hand. NASA set out on this trip to get more information. This time, it wasn't just about taking shots. The agency also wanted to learn more about the planet's atmosphere and chemicals that make it up. NASA also had to look into the planet's magnetic field and learn a lot about its minerals and core. As you might have guessed, the messenger probe had all the tools it needed for this very important task. The probe was interesting because it went around Mercury three times and took about 2,200,000 pictures of the planet. These shots were different from those taken by the Mariner mission because they showed both sides of the planet. As part of the messenger mission, the probe got very close to the planet and was flying about 215,000 kilometers above its surface. Because it was so close, the probe could take shots of Mercury's bright and dark sides. NASA learned that our dear sister planet had unusually high levels of calcium and magnesium on its night side by looking closely at the pictures and matching them to data from the spacecraft's instruments. In addition, the planet's magnetic field seems to be skewed in a strange way, with bigger and more intense fields in the north. Scientists were confused by this strange pattern in the magnetic field for years until they did a lot of study to figure out what was going on. But when the secrets were finally made public, it shocked everyone in the scientific world. Let me explain. Mercury's strange magnetic field comes from the way the planet was made. At its center, worlds have magnetic fields that come from processes going on in their cores. Just look at Earth as an example. The iron in the Earth's core goes from liquid to solid as you move toward the outer core. It is the steady or gradual solidification of liquid iron in the core that creates the magnetic field. Every day, more solid iron is being made in the center of our world as liquid iron cools and crystallizes into solid iron. When it comes into contact with the liquid iron around it, a type of convective current is made. As Earth spins around its center, eventually, Strong electric currents are made that create a huge magnetic field that goes all the way to space. This is the exact way that Earth works and how its magnetic field lines are made. It's not the same for Mercury, though. In fact, Mercury's way of working is so strange that experts have no idea how it works. A new study led by Howell from the University of California, Los Angeles, found that iron changes from a liquid to a solid at the edge of the core. This is very different from Earth where the change from liquid to solid happens at the inner edge of the core. Howell said, We had figured out how the Earth works, and Mercury is another terrestrial rocky planet with an iron core, so we thought it would work the same way, but it's not working the same way. It's like a snowstorm in which the snow forms at the top of the cloud, the middle of the cloud, and the bottom of the cloud too. Our study of Mercury's magnetic field indicates that iron is snowing throughout this fluid, powering Mercury's magnetic field. It was found that Howell's study matched data from NASA's messenger mission. After more research, hearing this amazing news, scientists think that planets can make magnetic fields in more than one way. Earth and Mercury both have sulfur and iron in their cores, but there are some changes between them that can make them very different, as you can see in their magnetic fields. But the difference between Earth and Mercury isn't just in Mercury's magnetic field. This celestial body doesn't seem to follow a lot of other rules. Scientists didn't understand why the planet's temperature could rise to over 430 degrees Celsius during the day and drop to as low as minus 170 degrees Celsius at night. Mercury doesn't have an atmosphere, which makes this strange situation possible. Mercury's exosphere isn't as thick as Earth's. 
Even worse, this exosphere is just made up of atoms that were blasted off the surface by solar winds and meteoroids. They think that anything that would have made a proper atmosphere over Mercury quickly evaporates into space because Mercury is so hot. In addition, Mercury's side that faces the sun gets very hot because it doesn't have an atmosphere. This is the most shocking part. A full day on Mercury lasts twice as long as its year. Each day is equal to 176 Earth days, not 88 Earth days like people think. This means that one side of Mercury is always hit with intense heat and sunlight, while the night side doesn't get much of either. It's mostly because of the lack of atmosphere and the extra long day that the temperatures are changing so quickly. There have been a lot of wild theories in the scientific world for a long time about Mercury's magic temperatures. Mercury might be a good place to live because it has a magnetic field and rocky land, but Mercury's crazy weather would make it almost impossible to live there. However, some controversial aspects of this mysterious planet have made many people wonder if it's possible to find life on Mercury. This has led to questions like, what if Mercury is actually inhabitable? And if it is, what feasible life forms could exist on the planet? The surface of Mercury has been pretty cool so far. The planet looks like it has a lot of impact scars, just like our moon. Because the moon has so many craters, some of which look like domes, it has been the subject of many debates and alien plot theories for a long time. Even though there is no proof of these kinds of bases on other planets, many people have started to blame Mercury, which suggests the possibility of such species. Impact craters are usually caused by asteroids, but spaceships could also be to blame for some of them. To give you an example, NASA's Messenger probe made a huge impact when it hit the surface of Mercury on April 30, 2015. There are many craters, cracks, hills, and even signs of lava flows today. That being said, what if some of these other craters were made by similar alien ships or activity? There are also some shocking facts about Mercury that have led to conspiracy theories. For example, the ice and water that can be found at the bottom of the holes at the planet's north and south poles. In fact, a new study from the Planetary Science Institute found that the North Pole of Mercury holds at least 100 billion tons of ice. The ice is mostly frozen water, but it's been covered with a blanket of dark dust, and some of the deepest craters may never get sunlight. There could be something deeper than ice hidden beneath Mercury's surface, and scientists are working to discover what it is. For many people, this just adds fuel to the fire when it comes to theories about Mercury. Mercury is full of enigmatic features that continue to puzzle scientists and spark theories. For example, despite its proximity to the sun, some areas on the planet remain surprisingly cold. This is due to Mercury's lack of a significant atmosphere. The exosphere, made up of sparse atoms, doesn't provide any heat retention. This means that, while one side of Mercury experiences scorching temperatures exceeding 430 degrees Celsius during the day, the other side plummets to minus 170 degrees Celsius at night. The absence of an atmosphere also means that Mercury's temperature swings are much more extreme than those of Earth. The planet's surface lacks the thermal insulation needed to keep things consistent, creating these drastic variations. Another fascinating discovery came from studying Mercury's magnetic field. Unlike Earth, which has a fully developed magnetic field generated by convection currents in its core, Mercury's magnetic field is peculiar. It is much weaker and slightly off-center. The findings indicate that Mercury's core may have some complex mechanisms at play. The planet's magnetic field is believed to be driven by a layer of liquid iron at the planet's core, but the exact process is still a mystery. In particular, the field's asymmetry suggests there is something unique about Mercury's core dynamics compared to other terrestrial planets. In addition to these mysteries, there is the issue of the planet's orbit. Mercury follows an eccentric orbit, meaning its path around the Sun isn't a perfect circle but an elongated ellipse. This elliptical orbit causes the planet's speed to fluctuate significantly, making it difficult for spacecraft to achieve stable orbits around it. The planet's rapid movement through space means that any mission aiming to study Mercury faces enormous challenges in terms of navigation and timing. Even after Mariner 10 and Messenger successfully studied the planet, new technology is still needed to conduct more in-depth observations and understand its history better. One of the more intriguing aspects of Mercury is the discovery of ice at its poles. Despite the planet's scorching daytime temperatures, 
Water ice exists in permanently shadowed craters near Mercury's poles. This ice is thought to have remained there for billions of years, preserved in the cold, dark craters. This finding adds another layer of intrigue to Mercury's mystery. Some researchers suggest that the ice might be a potential resource for future space missions, as it could be used for water or even fuel. The ice deposits are not only interesting for their potential utility, but also because they raise questions about how such a volatile planet could harbor water, a key ingredient for life as we understand it. Mercury's surface, despite the apparent lack of life, still remains one of the most fascinating features. From its enormous craters to its smooth plains, the surface of Mercury is like a time capsule, recording the impacts of celestial bodies over billions of years. The planet's geological history, including the signs of volcanic activity and large-scale planetary tectonics, paints a picture of a once-dynamic world. Yet today, it stands as a largely barren, desolate rock, providing scientists with vital clues about the early solar system and the processes that shaped the planets. These discoveries leave scientists with more questions than answers. As new space missions are planned to explore Mercury further, our understanding of this mysterious planet is sure to evolve, potentially uncovering even more astonishing secrets hidden deep beneath its surface.